Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the Invisible Columns feature introduced in Oracle 12.1. Invisible columns can be useful during application migrations. Making new columns invisible means they won't be seen by any existing applications, but can still be referenced by any new applications, making the online migration of applications much easier. We create a table called Tab 1. The description column includes the invisible keyword. This means the column won't be present in a select star or a percent row type in PLSQL. The SQL Plus, SQL CL and OCI describes won't see it either. As an example, when we describe the table in SQL CL, only the ID column is visible. When we insert into the table without explicitly referencing the column list, we don't need to include a value for the description column. Using select star only shows the ID column. We can still use the invisible column, provided we reference it explicitly. Including it in the insert statement allows us to assign a value to the invisible column. Including it in the select list allows us to display the column data. We can alter the visibility of a column using the alter table modify command. We mark the description column as visible, then mark it as invisible again. SQL Plus and SQL CL will allow us to temporarily display invisible columns. The invisible column is missing from the table description. We issue set col invisible on. Now the table description includes the invisible column marked as invisible. This only affects the way the table is described, it doesn't affect DML and queries. We issue set col invisible off to make it invisible again. We create a new test table with columns A, B and C. Column C is marked as invisible. When we check the column metadata, column C has no column ID value, which is used for column ordering. Using the alter table modify command, we make column C visible and column B invisible. Checking the column metadata, we see column C has a column ID value of 2, and column B has no column ID value. We make column B visible again, but now it has a column ID value of 3, so by switching the column visibility, we've altered the column order. This doesn't affect the data in the blocks, just how it's visualised. Making a column invisible doesn't affect its mandatory or optional status. We create a new test table with the created date column marked as invisible and mandatory. The column metadata confirms the created date column is both invisible and mandatory. As expected, when we attempt to insert into the table without making a reference to the invisible column, we get an error. If we make the created date column nullable, we are able to insert into the table without making a reference to the created date column. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.